here's something I want you to consider. And I want you to use your imagination here. Let's say that your goal is to become a vice president of a big company. And after many years of intense stress, worry, and an avalanche of emotional, mental, and physical overload, you finally achieve your goal, along with all of the wealth and prestige that comes with it. Is this success? Now, if you were to consult the dictionary, the answer would be yes. Webster's Dictionary defines success as follows, the attainment of wealth, position, honors, or the like. I find it absolutely amazing that the words happy, happiness, joy, or enjoyment are not included in any definition of the word success. Unfortunately, our conventional definition of success is simply achieving a goal. No emphasis at all is placed on the value of experiencing and enjoying the journey, building character, or learning life's lessons along the way. Now here's a hypothetical question. What if someone were to show you a video of yourself as you climb the ladder to great success. Now in this video, you see yourself achieving all of your goals and obtaining great wealth. But during the entire process, however, you witness how you subjected your body, mind, and spirit to intense negative energy along the way. Not only were you unhappy most of the time, but you were able to see how your refusal to enjoy the process affected your family, your friends, associates, and your overall well-being. <sighs> Come on, you talk about a downer of a movie. Now I'm gonna ask you the question again. Is this success? Here's the answer, no, and here's why. And I really want you to get this. If the process of fulfilling your goal is polluted with negative energy and lack of enjoyment, Along the way, it can only create more unhappiness even when the goal is achieved. Why? Because the happiness that you feel in that moment of reaching success is a temporary state dictated by its conventional definition. You see, after the initial euphoria wears off, you're back in the same old negative place again because you've carried that same old negative mindset with you. All of those toxic emotions, the fear, the anger, the self-doubt, overwhelm, jealousy, all that stuff comes with you. The truth is, it really doesn't matter how much money you have or how famous you are or how many goals you've achieved. The bottom line is this, and only you know this. If you are not happy, you're not successful. And if you're not enjoying yourself on the journey towards your goal, you're ripping yourself off. And trust me when I say there are enough people out there willing to do that for you. There's absolutely no reason why you can't make a conscious choice right now at this moment, and it doesn't matter how old you are, to experience and enjoy yourself on the journey towards the goal. And if you do, you'll have a profound appreciation of how you earned it. And in my view, that's the ultimate success. And by the way, this isn't coming from a motivational speaker. This is coming from the heart of someone who learned this lesson the hard way. And that's the word, according to Bob.